I'm Keith Peters with the Palo Alto Weekly. And I'm Kelly Jenks, a sophomore on the Palo Alto softball team. Last week, Kelly played in six softball games. She pitched in five. She had a four and one record. She pitched 34 innings. She struck out 47. She also had six hits, scored five runs. She helped her team win the consolation title at the Mission City Invitational. And for that, Kelly is the Palo Alto Weekly Girls Athlete of the Week. Congratulations. Uh, a big week, one of the biggest weeks for Palo Alto softball in a long time. What was the highlight of those six games? Um, I'd say the highlight was beating Wilcox, just because that was a really big game for us. And we were tied with them for first place. So beating them put us um, above them and in first place. You also had 13 strikeouts in that game. So that was uh, an important game for you guys. Yeah, definitely. The, in addition to pitching and hitting and uh, on the softball team, you also play soccer. Interesting combination, soccer and softball. You usually don't see soccer and softball players. Uh, but um, how did you get started in those sports? Um, I, start, I started soccer when I was about five and just like playing at the park and stuff. And um, I s played on my first team, like club team, when I was in third grade. And then I started soccer or softball in about second grade, and I just started playing rec with um, a friend who was on my team. And then I started playing club um, a few years later. So. How'd you get started pitching? Um, I started pitching when I began softball in about second grade. Um, and yeah, and I've been pitching ever since, and I just really enjoy it. So. The Palo Alto softball team is off to a great start. They're in first place in the SEVL El Camino division. Uh, last year and the year before that, the team wasn't as successful. What's the difference this year? Um, I'd say a big part of it is a new coach. And uh, Coach Hallis, he's just really, he's just really dedicated. And um, he just makes us work really hard. But I think that's the just the attitude that the program needed to get going. and. Um, practice they're just like really organized and um, he's just really into it and it's just been great. So the um, team is 12, 7 and 1 after the weekend. Uh, what do we have to look forward to the rest of the season? What are the uh, the big goals? Um, our overall goal is to win the El Camino League because it's been about 12 years I think since Palo Alto Softball um, has won that and we're just going to keep working hard and um, stay focused and um, keep winning hopefully so. How important is playing in CCS? Um, it's pretty important. I mean, that'd just be an added bonus to winning the league. So, um, yeah, we'll just enjoy the rest of the road. And I think the important thing is that everybody comes back next year. So no matter what happens this year, you've got lots to look forward to next year. Yes, definitely. We have no seniors and um, three juniors. So next year we'll definitely um, be good because we'll have, like, everyone's returning. and. Um, yeah, so it'll be a strong team next year. Well, good luck the rest of the season. Congratulations. Thank you very much.